Today is the last day of the 2017 hurricane season. And thank goodness, this was the most expensive hurricane season on record. 17 named storms, 10 of them hurricanes, and for the first time ever, three reached Category 4 status. We saw Harvey in Texas, mm -hmm. Irma in Florida, and Maria in Puerto Rico. Uh, I will say, looking at those Cat 4 storms, as bad as they were, the potential was for them to be even worse, yes. Kylie, especially the one bearing down on Florida. Oh, yeah. Which at first looked like it was just going to pummel mm -hmm. Miami. Yeah, and when it took that little just shift, and that's what's amazing about these hurricanes is that no matter, you know, what kind of meteorologist, what kind of forecaster you have on them, it's just a couple of miles different, especially on the skinny yeah. little land like Florida that can make all the difference in, in lives and in property. Reg, the storm in Puerto Rico, I think, is maybe the most heartbreaking. This is the largest power outage in the history of the United States. Uh, and even right now, something more more than 35% of the people are still in the dark. It's almost incredible that in 2017 we have people living who are United States citizens mm -hmm. without electricity. Some yeah. of them don't even have clean water. I just can't believe the power of the storm and how it just devastated that island. And the people still need help there. 60 Minutes did a, a very moving profile yes. of Chef Jose Andres, who oh. had, who just uh, who is based in Washington D.C. and he essentially just moved down to Puerto Rico and has just been making help. making food so people have something to eat because in many of these remote areas there's you, you have no water you're gonna have no food I know a lot of former army medics who have come together and that are down mm -hmm. in Puerto Rico as well yeah. trying to help the people there because it's hard to get medical care to some of those people who are in the back hills mm -hmm. on the island it'll be interesting to see what people learn from this storm, what scientists learn, mm -hmm. uh, what kind of government reaction learns from how these impacted us. Mm -hmm. I will tell you that when we study meteorology, when we go through all of these classes, there's a lot of history. We go back, we look at different years, we try and find patterns months in advance to say, okay, why did this storm or this season in particular yeah. turn out to be so devastating? So it, there's still a lot of mystery that yeah. goes along with it. And that's uh, one of the exciting things about meteorology is we're always, always learning. So hopefully we can learn more from this, but this actually wasn't even the worst. No, season. right, and yeah. often people want to point to climate change when we have these mm -hmm. extreme bursts but but in 2005 you know mm -hmm. 12 years ago yeah. they had 15 uh, hurricanes 28 named storms so quite a bit uh, more than we had this year the average would be six Mm -hmm. Hurricane. It was just the the money, the damage, which oh, we'll find oh, out, uh, I think, pretty it's, soon. It's here. Gonna, yeah, we should get a report. Hundreds of, of billions of dollars. Obviously, things mm -hmm. are more expensive, so damage is going to be worse years, but woof.